you're a big boxing guy. Can you believe they haven't made this Tyson Fury and Alexander Isik fight yet? It's scheduled though, right? Isn't no? Never have. Welcome to boxing, boys. <laughs> I mean, is it shocking? Yes. Is it shocking? No. The big fights that should happen never happen. When they do, it's it's always late. And yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm curious. Obviously, great main event ending for Leon. How did you see the fight, and how did you score it? How did I score the main event? Yeah. I really didn't. It was a tough fight to score. Um, yeah, I, I, I didn't really. I was literally standing in there, not knowing what was going to happen, and then Buffer came over and whispered in my ear. What did you make of his performance, though? I mean, his takedown defense was incredible. Hey, Linay, Linay, will you come over here? Yeah. He wouldn't, uh, he wouldn't, he, his takedown defense was great. He wouldn't let himself be pressured against the cage. What did you make of Leon's performance overall? Whose performance? Leon's. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I expected a lot more wrestling out of Usman th th than I saw. And when he did try to wrestle, you know, obviously Leon did a great job, you know, especially if you compare it to the first fight. You just shared a quote from Teddy Atlas saying that when he's always heard trainers say that when a fighter wins a belt, they become 30% better overnight. Completely. Yeah, I just retweeted that. Yeah, yeah that, that's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I believe it. And I think that there's, there's absolutely a different level of confidence that you have when you win that type of a fight. Um, and I can't even imagine the amount of nerves guys have going into that first fight that you might not feel the second time. And knowing that you have the, the power and the ability to knock the same opponent out. Plus, you gotta look at Usman who might be a little more gun shy you know, if you think of all the wars that he's been in with all the great fighters that he's beat, uh, this is the guy who knocks him out. Do you think Usman was a little bit more gun shy tonight? Do I think Usman was? Yeah. Uh, I, you know, that's what I thought was going to happen going in. I thought he was going to be very gun shy. I thought he was going to be, you know, holding on to those legs all night. He did the exact opposite. He only shot a few times and uh, he was willing to mix it up in there. Obviously, we had Colby Covington cage side. He wants to fight Leon in July. I'm curious if that's a fight you're interested in or do you need to see how it plays out? Yeah, I don't know when we'll do it, but yeah, that's the fight that makes sense. And Colby came here and cut weight, you know, and, and did everything to, to be here for this fight. He deserves the fight. So it's Leon Edwards versus... Not to mention the fact that he's, you know, you know, the second or third best guy in the world. So it is Leon versus Colby next? Yeah. Dang. Colby was in here and he said that he flew out here on a day's notice uh, and cut 18 pounds overnight to make weight uh, on Friday. Is that true? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Dana, just talking yep. about the potential return in July that's been discussed. Obviously, Tom Aspinall, he looks like he's been doing a great job um, presenting on the broadcast tonight, but he wants to return this summer. Marcin Tabora is the guy that's been discussed. Is that a fight that could potentially main event the London show this summer? Yeah, I have no idea. Obviously, if Aspinall is ready and we come back to England, we, we would obviously use him. But we don't have a date for England. I mean, we, we didn't even know what the hell was going to happen tonight. So, um, But yeah, it looks like England has a world champion now, and, and uh, we're going to be doing title fights here more. So, that, that's yeah. great news for the fans. And for yourself as a massive fight fan, you, you love it over here as well. There's probably going to be some of the biggest nights in UK MMA history on the horizon, even bigger than this tonight now. I agree, and if you look at that division, you know, there's a lot of great fights to make now if, if Leon's a champ. And, uh, you know, for people who've never been here, I say it all the time about the fans and the energy and things here, but also, every, every time you do a fight, it's about a destination. Th this city has the best hotels, great restaurants. I mean, the, the shopping is unbelievable. There's, this is such a great place to come if you've never been. Not to mention the history and all the other things that are here. It's just, it's a great play. I'm, I'm so pumped that we're actually able to, you know, do, do big title fights here with, with one of your own. We really appreciate it as well. I know, I don't know if you saw it during the week, but Connor said, you know, London was potentially discussed for the Chandler fight, and he obviously pitched Broke Park in Dublin as well, which the logistics of that have always been difficult, hasn't it? Is that something that you think before Connor's career is over, he's going to have to main event in Dublin again with the star power he's got now? Well, obviously when, when Connor was the champ and the double champ, I mean, I, I wanted to do Croke Park so bad, but logistically it just it never worked out for us. We, we, couldn't, uh, we couldn't get them to work with us. To, you know, they closed the subways down at, at a certain time that, that wouldn't have worked. And 
Um, and, and obviously, we'd love to come back to Dublin too, but I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. I don't, I don't even know when he's going to fight yet. And, and his next fight definitely wouldn't be in Ireland. Can you, can you talk a little bit about what that does for business here in the UK, having Leon as champion? Yeah, like I was just saying to him. It's huge. This is a great destination for people who've never been here before. It's an incredible city with, with, you know, more than just coming for the fight. There's so much you can do here in London. Uh, you know, you can fly in on a Thursday with your family or however you want to do it and have an incredible weekend here. It's one of the greatest cities on earth. And uh, the weather isn't always great, but uh, you, you, can, you can tough through it. But this, this city's amazing. And to have a champion here now is fun. We'll, we'll, do, we'll do some big fights here. Do you see, sorry, last one from me, do you see uh, London as being a regular pay-per-view destination for you in the future? London being a regular pay-per-view destination? Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, if, if the champ fights three times a year and, and, and you know, we, we, we do them over here in London, yeah, it makes sense. I mean, realistically, when you think about it, <clears throat> um, we'd want to come over here, especially since COVID and everything that's been going on, you want to come over here as much as we possibly can. And you got to imagine if we did a fight in Vegas with them, you know, give a lot of people from uh, England an opportunity to go over to Vegas too, so. What do you think is next for Kamar Usman? What's next for Usman? I don't know. You know, he's got a, uh, you know, it's one of those things where he goes home and spends some time with his family and get his head clear and then let us know what he's thinking next. You know, it's not really what we're thinking. What is he thinking? You're a big boxing guy. Can you believe they haven't made this Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk fight yet? Can I believe that what hasn't happened? Uh, Fury and Usyk. Usyk and Usyk and, and Fury. yeah, it, it's scheduled though, right? Isn't no, never have. Welcome to boxing, boys. <laughs> uh, I mean, is it shocking? Yes. Is it shocking? No. I mean, it's just that is boxing. It's just the the, the way that that sport always seems to play out. The big fights that should happen never happen, and when they do, it's, it's always late, and yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, that's the stuff that used to drive me crazy as a fan, and it's, it's literally part of how I designed this company to not be. You know, we, we, we try to make the big fights when it's time to make the big fights, and uh, I mean, think about this. Tonight, on the prelims, you saw 11 and 0 versus 10 and 0 on the prelims. When's the last time you watched any show with any organization anywhere where two and, and that fight was technically incredible, right? You don't see that stuff ever except here. Dana just wanted to ask where we're at. Just there. Uh, where are we at with uh, Paddy Pimblett's return, and when can we see Paddy back? Yeah, um, possibly in October. Do you miss him on nights like this and in, in, in pay-per-views in general? And do you still think he's a bigger draw as he was in December? Do I think? Do you miss him on nights like this and do you still think he's just as big of a draw as he did in December? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, we have a lot of guys that, 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 you know, depending on where you take them, that are exciting and fun. But Patty's awesome and always fun to have on a card. Um, yeah, I guess the answer is yes to thank your you question. Yeah, thank you. Just a quick one here. Yeah. Uh, just wanted to get your thoughts on Anderson Silva being inducted into the Hall of Fame. Anderson Silva being inducted into the Hall of Fame tonight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's one of the greatest of all time. And um, yeah, yeah. Finally. I mean, he should be. We invited him out, but he, could, he couldn't make it. We, we, we wanted him to be here for it, but he couldn't make it tonight.